Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another 4K Blu-ray collection update and unboxing. If you guys don't know me, my name is David and I review movies here and at CinemaDeviant.com. I started doing this as a way to give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as Blu-rays, 4Ks go, and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, uh, this video is going to be a mixture of things that I picked up recently and uh, stuff that was sent for review. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. First up, we have Hudson Hawk starring Bruce Willis. Uh, this was, man, I had to pick this one up. Uh, this one was one that I remember watching uh constantly like on the weekends on like those sunday afternoon um uh, movies uh this was bruce willis like in his prime this was i think it this was like right after his uh his show moonlighting back in the day uh i dug this movie quite a bit so i of course i had to pick this one up it was for a really good price and this is one of those mill creek uh slip covers the vhs slip covers that i love so much because it's cool because it gives you the option to store it with the regular spine or the VHS spine, the label on the other side. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you have not seen it, check it out. It's a really cool, you know, uh, really cool action movie. And here's the back here in case you guys don't know what it's about. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. And here we have alternate artwork there. And... There's the back there again. Some shots of Bruce Willis. Um, I remember this being advertised so much in uh, the comic books that I used to have uh, growing up when this first came out. Uh, like, I would constantly see this whole uh, this whole title screen here all the time. Let's go ahead and pop this open. And it's been a while since I've seen this movie, so it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to bring back a lot of memories of me being a kid. Uh, not too much here. There's no interior artwork or anything like that. There's some disc art there that's different than the front, so that's good. I really dig that. Mill Creek, again, is also is always good at putting out these older titles um, that you maybe you wouldn't even think of. And then here goes the front back and spine for Hudson Hawk. And like I said, this is one of the ones that, that's part of the the VHS slipcover uh, editions that they had. Uh, next up is another one from Mill Creek. And it is another one of those VHS slipcovers. And this is When a Stranger Called. I love this movie so, so much. I remember watching it when I was a kid. Um, reading the story. Because there's been stories out there of, uh, that are similar to this. Um, it's like those... Uh, I don't want to say like the the like the urban legends, I guess you could say, um, of okay, the babysitter's home, and there's these weird phone calls coming in, and then oh, they're in the house, you know, they find out they're in the house. Uh, so this is a really good horror movie thriller um, from back in the day, and I saw this one. I had to pick this one up again because it it is part of that the slipcover series there goes the spine there and then the alternate spine the vhs side but so so good i remember uh watching it freaked me the heck out when i was younger um and then watching it with my mom also and she was like oh my god this is so good and uh is that where i get the love of horror movies from no I, she's a chicken when it comes to horror movies um, and then some alternate artwork here. Again, I had to pick it up. Good price. And part of this uh, VHS series that I have a whole bunch of already here in the back. Let's go ahead and pop this open. And there is, I think... I believe, that, well, there. I know that there is a remake of this one. I'm not 100% sure if there's another version of this one as well. It could be, I think there was maybe a Lifetime movie version of it. Um, and then here we have the disc, some disc art. It is the same artwork 
as the front there. And then here is the front back and spine for when a stranger calls. And this one is out now as well from Mill Creek. Mill Creek Entertainment. Again, they're, they're really good at putting out stuff that, um, that again, you normally wouldn't see like or think of stuff that you would randomly just watch on a weekend or, you know, channel surfing and things like that. Um, this is one, uh, this is another Mill Creek one, part of the VHS series. I've never seen this movie, but I saw it and I had to get it because for one, it has Jeff Goldblum and Cindy Lauper. Two, it is, again, another one of these VHS ones and I got it for a really good price. So I couldn't say no. Uh, this one is Vibes. Never seen it. This is, it was a total blind buy. Um, I'm going to have to check that out. If you have seen it, let me know uh what you guys think of it and again here goes the regular spine the alternate spine there let's go ahead and pop this one open and as you can see there is alternate artwork and in the back as well oh that's like that's like heyday cindy lopper and jeff goldblum fun fact uh, when I was about like five or six years old, no, maybe about five or four, um, Jeff Goldblum was the first actor, like his name that I recognized, memorized, and knew, watched The Fly, and knew exactly the year that it came out, who the director was, and everything. Don't ask me why or how, but it just stuck with me. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and pop this open. And here we have Vibes here. And again, uh, we got some disc art there, which is really good. It's alternate than what's on here. I think this photo is in the back, though. So that's cool. Nice here. And then here we have the front back and spine for vibes and this one is out now as well from mill creek home entertainment like i said i haven't seen this one um if you guys have let me know how it is because i'm actually kind of uh, looking forward to checking this one out uh next up we have uh this is a two-pack one like a double feature and this one is wild child and life happens i got this uh double pack again part of the other Mill Creek ones as well. Um, but I got it mainly for Life Happens. This is a really good one. A good comedy, underrated comedy uh, that nobody really talks about. And it has a good, pretty good cast in it. Um, and I, I thought, why not? You know, it, it was a double feature. I've never seen the other one. I've never seen Wild Child. So I'll have to check that one out as well. Let's see here. So open this up. Let it breathe. All right. And here's the back here. In case you guys don't know what either of them are about. All right. And this is one of those ones where it could, because it is a double feature, um, sometimes they'll just do basic discard like that. It's just black. It just has the titles there. It does give you a menu. I believe to, to uh, usually, if I remember in the past, it does give you a menu to pick each movie, uh, but it's pretty basic. And then here goes the front, back and spine for uh, Wild Child and Life Happens. I, I highly suggest checking this one out. This one was a fun one as well that, again, I, I don't see a lot of people talk about or, or remember uh, at all. Uh, next up is another blind buy, but I picked it up because of recommendations. Um, I've had a lot of people recommend this one to me, and I saw it for, for a pretty good price, so I was like, oh, okay, why not? It is The Passion the passion of Darkly Noon, um, and this is an Arrow video title. And I love the artwork in the front. I thought it was really cool as well. The, the whole artwork here is really, really nice. And then 
Here goes the back here. I don't even know what it's about, to be honest. I picked it up, again, purely out of recommendation. Um, it does have Brendan Fraser, Ashley Judd, and Vigo Mortensen. So, I mean, that's a that's quite a cast right there. So that's one of those where it's like, okay, why not pick it up? It has a great cast in it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, really looking forward to checking this one out. It's been a while since I've, like really really sat down and had like a movie marathon that's something that i've been really wanting to do you know life happens and you know you, you gotta you gotta you end up being busy with so many things um but i'm think i'm gonna be doing that this weekend for sure because i have a couple of movies here that i've gotten through recommendation and I always love finding those little gems. You know, somebody will recommend a, a movie to me that I have never heard of. It happens, not often, but it does happen. And whenever that happens and I check it out and it turns out to be such a great movie, I always get a kick out of it whenever that happens. Okay, so here goes a closer look without the, without the wrapper on it. I love that shine there in the slipcover. And then again, the back here has that same shine up here on top, which is really nice. And Arrow, Arrow always puts out like great quality uh, titles as well. Stuff again, it's like it's like uh, these like cult favorite movies uh, that that are uh, that are very maybe like under the radar, something that you wouldn't even think of, um, and they put them out in this great packaging. Um, nice card here for inglorious bastards which is really cool nice art card I usually put these in like you know for like upcoming releases and things like that and then here we have the booklets which i love that arrow puts out these they're nice and thick a lot of pages and they have really awesome you know inf info inside production notes and things like that photos from the movie a lot of uh a lot of nice information in there and um nice shot of brendan fraser right there in the back really really good and then here goes the blu-ray so nice discard there the discard from the cover and then they also have feature, uh, they, they feature a, a reversible cover. So if you prefer this artwork, cool. If you prefer the uh, old school artwork, then you could just swap it around, turn it around. I like this one. I, I actually do like this, uh, this newer artwork here, the one that they used. It's really, really cool. But it's nice to have the option as well and here is the front back and spine for the passion of darkly noon and this one is out now from arrow video so again looking forward to to checking this one out for sure um next up is another arrow video recommendation and this is deadly manner every time i've almost picked this one up about three different times and I don't know what stopped me. Um, finally picked it up through recommendation. Um, always heard really good things about this one. Uh, and everybody I talk to says, you got to watch it. At least once, you know, to, to, to see it, it's worth it. I was like, okay. So here it is for everyone out there that has recommended to me. Here it is finally, Deadly Manor. So I'm pretty stoked to, to, to check this one out as well. And I, I will go ahead and just give a, a good thank you to everyone already. Because I, I can already tell that I'm, I'm going to dig this one quite a bit. And if you, guys, if, you, if you guys have seen it, let me know in the comments and just say, yeah, you're going to love it. All right. So here we have a closer look at the front here. Love the artwork already. And then here goes the back. Again, don't even know what it's about, but just by the artwork itself, 
I already dig it. Um, and let's go ahead and pop this open. Oh, I love it already. Okay, so here is another art card. So why don't you just die? I feel like I feel like I've seen this movie, but I'm not a hundred percent. But if you have, let me know. Let me know what it's like. All right, and then we have the booklet. I always say the booklet because I feel like it, it has to be said like that. Because they always, again, these are always really neat. And check out the back. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, some production notes there. More. So really cool. Again, always very informative. And that's what I, I appreciate with, with Aero Video releases. They always have some really cool extras inside. And then here goes the disc here and the disc art as well. And then the alternate artwork here which I like both of them I I can't decide which one I like which one I like the most most I like both are really cool I don't know uh give me your uh your vote in the comments this uh the, the artwork it came with or the original artwork the alternate one let me know in the, in the comments, and that, that'll be the one that I use whenever I put it up uh, in the collection. Anyway, here goes the front, back, and spine for Deadly Manor. And this one is out now from Arrow Video. Really, really looking forward to this. All right. Let's see, next up, we have a pickup. And I've come to love this, this movie and the one that's connected to it and this is x i love this movie i've seen it a bunch of times already this is just it's 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 like it's a throwback it's a nice good horror throwback uh and then pearl is another one that surprisingly i don't have yet but i've seen that one quite a bit as well uh ty west does a fantastic job at putting together this uh this little world here and i am really really looking forward to uh the next one i believe it's called maxine um and uh yeah this was so much fun every time i watch it it's just so so much fun to watch um it's so cool and then here goes the back here A nice screaming image of jenna ortega Fantastic movie. And then here goes the Blu-ray and the DVD as well. Basic, very basic artwork. And that's all it needs, you know? So I don't even care if there's no artwork on it. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for X. And this one is out now from Lionsgate and A24. So again, fantastic movie. Um, and, and I love the other one as well, the Pearl. Um, there's a steel book that I'm looking for, for Pearl. Um, and that's gonna be, I think my, my next buy very, very soon. Um, here goes another pickup from Big Lots. Um, I, I go there here and there to pick up some just some cheapies uh, and sometimes I'll find some steel books and things like that this time around I found uh, Jack Reacher uh, was it never go back I don't I have this movie I don't have the steel book for it and I figured ah why not it's eight bucks might as well so it does have blu-ray DVD and a digital copy included here goes the back here case you guys don't know what it's about um these movies i i 
actually didn't think that they were that bad, but they were just the typical type of uh, Tom Cruise movie. There wasn't anything too extraordinary about him. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about the, the show, Reacher. Um, so, and I, I still haven't checked it out. I don't know if any of you have. Um, what's his name? Uh, Alan Richardson. I think that's his name. Uh, he looks like he plays the part really, really well. Um, but he gives me like these like bro vibes, like these frat guy vibes that I'm kind of on the fence about. But, um, anyway, I hear that he plays this character, Reacher, uh, very, very well. Uh, let's go ahead and take off this J card. And this one was a part of uh, these uh, Paramount releases that they 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 had that they released a bunch of steel books that uh, that all kind of had like the title on the side and things like that, and then they had like a quote on the back. I th I think I might have another one somewhere around here. I'm looking like it's like right here. <laughs> for me. Um, it does have like I said it does have digital copy and then here is the blu-ray for it and then the DVD as well basic just basic disc art uh, just has a title there on top and that's about it and then um, and then the interior artwork here and it's pretty much nothing. Uh, and this is what this is what I tell you whenever I say that to me interior artwork um, is one of the bigger things that like completes a steel book. You know, you have uh, nice interior artwork with a nice image, uh, preferably connecting image on the outside, um, and you have a perfect steel book. Uh, this one just. It, it, it's a re-release, you know, with basic uh, run-of-the-mill artwork on the outside. Um, so I was kind of expecting this, so it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, so now you guys know why I love interior artwork. A good interior artwork, quite a bit. And again, front, back, and spine for Jack Reacher. Never go back. And this one is out now um, from Paramount. You could, I'm sure you you probably run across them uh, a couple of times at Big Lots. Um, if you do that, eh, and it's for a good price, you might as well just pick it up for the collection if you're a collector in that sense. Um, all right, next up, we have a really good movie. This is The Color Purple. And this was sent over uh, by Warner Brothers. Uh, it is on 4K Ultra HD. It does have 4K Ultra HD and digital copy. No, uh, no Blu-ray included. Um, I saw this movie a while back. Such a great movie. Uh, this uh, this remake of it um, is, is really really well done. Great cast that rounds it out. Nothing can beat the original. You know, obviously, the original is gonna be just the classic. Um, this one, again, like I said, it does have a well-rounded cast, a lot of great musical numbers. It, the, the movie itself is, it, it's a very emotional ride. It's sad, but it's also very uplifting and very, very powerful. Um, if you have not seen The Color Purple, I definitely, definitely suggest checking it out whenever you get a chance. It's, it's a really, really good. And then here goes the back here, in case you guys... Don't know what it's about. And let's go ahead and pop this open. All right. So it does come with digital copy. And then here we have the disc here on 4K. This is the 4K disc. And as simple as it is, you just make it purple, and that's perfect. There you go. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for the color purple. And this one is out now from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. 
All right. So next up, we have a movie that is very, very traumatizing to me. And I was just like, I don't even want to touch it at this point. <laughs> but it's contagion. <laughs> and obviously, you know, I, I've seen, I saw this movie when it first came out. And I thought it was very, very good. Um, now, when I I rewatched it, I'm not going to lie. I got a little PTSD about it. <laughs> I got a little PTSD about it. Um, but it is a good movie nonetheless. And that scene just in, in the beginning with Gwyneth Paltrow. Dang. Uh, but yeah, if you have not watched it, um, you will probably feel the same as me, uh, that, you know, with the second go around watching it. Uh, but anyway, uh, it does have 4K Ultra HD and digital copy, no Blu-ray as well on this release. And here goes the back here in case you guys don't know what it's about. The special features as well. And this was sent over from, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, home entertainment as well. And then it does have digital copy. And then here is the 4K disc right here. Very basic disc art. Nothing, nothing going on here. Just black. And then here is the front. Back in spine for Contagion. And this one is out now from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Uh, again, just me saying it and me thinking about this movie. I just I'm like I just want to put this down already. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't want to talk about this movie anymore. <laughs> but it is a really good one though. I I will suggest it. But uh, I'm a little bit of a of a germaphobe, so it uh yeah it hits me in those senses. Uh, next up is a a nice return to rom com. I'll start it off by saying that. And that's Anyone But You. Really good movie. Um, it's, it's a really nicely done rom-com. Way better than what I expected it was going to be. Um, I, you know, I kind of went into it with low expectations. Because uh, I've seen tons of rom-coms. And surprisingly enough, I, I really do like rom-coms. Um, and, uh, I just felt like it, this was going to be the cookie cutter, you know, same template type of rom-com. It kind of is in spots, but it's also very like welcoming to see that again. Um, and it's, it, it is rated R. So, um, seeing a nice, I don't want to say nice, but a rated R rom-com, uh, a good one at that. Um, it is, a, it's a nice, uh, like refresh to this genre that uh, you don't really get to see them very often especially really well done ones uh this is one of them definitely starring sydney sweeney and glenn powell Do, okay i'm gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent here this dude here he would be perfect as booster gold in the dc universe in this new reboot oh my god please cast him as booster gold anyway here goes the back here in case you guys don't know what it's about and like i said really fun watch um i think this will be cool if you if you have some some downtime just to check it out and just enjoy a good a good laugh and a nice rom-com if you if you dig those kind of things um really really well done very very surprising to me um does have digital copy and then here we have the blu-ray disc here different disc art which is good i really i really appreciate whenever they take the time to make it all different not just like copy and paste images um so that's really cool as well and then here goes the front back and spine for anyone but you and this one is out now uh, from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. All right. So next up, we have 
Rick and Morty Season 7. I have grown to love Rick and Morty so, so much. I, I jumped on the train pretty late. I think around maybe like season three or so or four. And, um, and I, I watched like an episode or two of like season three or four. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to have to go back. So I went back, rewatched up. And I got current at that time and I loved it so much. It was so much fun. It was, it's like, it's just so ridiculous and out there. And I love like time travel and multiverse type stuff. Um, and it was just so, so ridiculous and so funny and so smart at the same time. You throw all those together and, you know, there is like toilet humor, obviously. Uh, you throw all those things together and it just makes for such a perfect sh show, you know. Um, and we're up to season seven already. I have not completed watching uh, season seven, but... Uh, now I get the chance to, to binge watch the rest of it. Um, I think I'm like only in like a couple of episodes, but man, I'm so stoked to, to, to finish watching this. Um, and these Blu-ray releases are all, always really good to check out because I like the way that they're always packaged. Um, so you'll see what I mean right now. Let's see here. So here we have, again, the artwork in the front. And then here's the back. Pause that to read that. They never really give you like a whole bunch of information. And then the, the, the artwork is just wraparound artwork for the most part. No title, no nothing. Like even the spine has nothing. So... That's why they give you the box, the slip case. So what you get is that. And I believe, I think all of the releases are like that. It's kind of cool. I, I, I actually kind of dig it. Um, and then here we have the Blu-ray disc. You can see here. And then, well, where are you looking at the front back? It's fine. Um, and then here's the interior here, which here it gives you the episode guide and the special features as well, instead of having them on the back. And all the Ricks and all the Mortys there as well. And then there goes the front back and spine for Rick and Morty season seven. And this one is out now from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Again, really fun watch. Um, this show as a as a whole if you have not gotten into rick and morty at all um i'd say give it a shot it's always again it's just it's just so much fun it's so weird and out there but i appreciate the weird uh so that's a really good one i suggest picking that one up uh and last but not least this was a pickup of my own that i had been scouring every walmart that i could because uh as you know i've been kind of uh going steelbook crazy that now that walmart has their little you know their steelbook section there oh man and this one was the one that i missed i went to i'd say i've been to about like maybe eight walmarts none of them had this release and i just casually walked into this one random one the other day just to to see if they had it didn't really have any expectations and they did and that's creep show fantastic i love love this artwork here and i love creep show so so much i'm a big fan of these type of movies the creep show one and two movies are some of my favorites uh the horror anthologies are just so good in general uh this one is does it is on 4k ultra hd and does have blu-ray included as well I know that there there have been other creep show like creep show three and four, and then they have the TV series three the the other creep show uh, movies. I remember watching three and I was like, yeah, no, I didn't dig it very much. The one that comes close though is the TV show, 
And I think I only have season one and two, so I need to catch up on those as well. And those are really good. Those feel more in tone and tried and true um, than anything else. But this is the one that started it all for me. I love, 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 love the original Creep Show because it has two of my fa favorite uh, people involved, Stephen King and George Romero. But fantastic. Here goes the back here does have all the special features and a description of what it's about in case you have not seen it before. Um, and if you have not, please do so. Please, please, please. This is, I feel like this is one of those movies that's very important to the horror genre. Um, it's going to take this Jade card off here and nice look. Oh, some really nice spot gloss on the on the title here and the creep right there as well really really nicely done and then here goes the back here fantastic and this one is from uh screen factory so oh okay i'm getting ahead of myself already um here goes Creep show on 4K, uh, 4K Ultra HD, disc with some nice disc art there, and then we have the Blu-ray disc here with some nice alternate disc art as well. Again, always appreciate that. Now, remember what I said about Jack Reacher, right? Now we're going to look at some interior artwork for Creepshow. That is some interior artwork. That is what I'm talking about. That is amazing. So, so cool. Love it. I don't know, man. I just... this, yeah, this seals the deal for me. Love the outside artwork. This nice, again, as you can see, kind of glaring, the spot glossing on like the webs and the title. And then just you spin it around and then, oh, you see this interior artwork? So, so nice. This is a, this is an example of a perfect steelbook. Really, really nice. Nicely done, Screen Factory. Jesus. Really, really cool. And here's the front, back, and spine for Creep Show, And this one is out now. You can find it at Walmart. Uh, and I don't know if they have it on uh, the Screen Factory site. But uh, this is an exclusive steelbook to Walmart. Man. Oh. That's it. I'm glad I ended with this one. This one was perfect to end with. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with me. Um, so anyway, yeah. So... That's what I have here for you guys today. Uh, thank you guys for checking out this video. Um, I will be putting some links in the description below uh, in case you guys want to pick up any of these titles. You guys don't have to, but it does help out the channel if you do. Um, again, like I said, thanks for checking out this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you dug it or found it informative in any way. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I will be coming back with more videos as always. And with all that being said, we'll catch you next time.